One store on Youngstown Southside has faced its share of diversity over the last six months. The owner of Remus Fashion was killed during a botched robbery in November. Over the weekend, three teenagers tried to break into the store. 27 First News weekend anchor Matt Horn talked with store managers tonight. He joins us live in the studio. Matt. That's right. Surveillance video shows the three trying to break into the back door of Remus Fashion early Saturday morning. They were not able to get in, but store employees hope video will help police in finding the suspects. Just after 1.30 Saturday morning. For about an hour and a half in the back trying to pry themselves in. And then they turned around and come look through the front door. Three males all under the age of 18 try to break into Rima's Clothing, a store on Youngstown's south side. They managed to bend the edge of the back door and broke a window to the front of the T-Mobile store, which is also operated by Rima's. I was in shock because I, I literally, I came into work, I opened. I went a shooting killed one of the store owners this past November. Since then, extra security cameras have been installed to keep employees and customers safe. Obviously, they understand that after everything that happened here, we are going to be on edge. A loose wire on one of the cameras is making it difficult for police to identify the suspects. Saturday morning when the break-ins happened, this security camera was not working, but the camera right next to it was, and it actually caught the three teens while they were trying to break into the store. Now police need your help to identify them. It's our business. we got to protect it. Management at the store says they don't have many problems with people in the area. Everybody's cool around here. That's the problem. But these young kids, we just got to get it together. She hopes the teens' parents will get involved to turn their lives around before it's too late. These kids that are out there right now um, are following in a track that's going to end up landing them in a place that they cannot handle or want to be. The damage to the store is estimated at more than $1,200. Youngstown police say if you have any information or can identify those in the surveillance video to call Crime Stoppers. Matt Horn, 27 First News at 11.